Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 12 of our RimWorld Alpha 15 Knife's Edge Let's Play. We're playing on Cassandra Extreme Permadeath with a self-imposed no turret challenge for our tribal colony. It is the 11th of summer, and when we left off, the pawns of Knife's Edge had recovered fairly well from their tragic series of raids. Sorry, it's the 13th of summer, not the 11th of summer. I didn't mean to scare you there. We had four days in our previous episode. We usually get about four days per episode. That's, that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, we had a uh, raid that uh, caused us all sorts of problems. So we have a message carrier. Well, message carrier doesn't sound all that promising. And we've got two good pawns waiting up here to be recruited. So you know what? I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to bother with a message carrier. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, must not have been that important. Um, so, yeah, we've got a couple of these pawns I want to try to recruit. They are set to, uh, set to chat and recruit, right? I just don't really have... This one needs to, uh... No, he doesn't. Hmm. Um, uh, thanks, uh, thanks again, of course, as always, to the great comments and likes and so forth that I'm receiving. Uh... I did receive uh, some tips from Manny. Uh, he suggested that I add another door or two in this wall here. I think that's probably a good idea. Might even add one up here as well so I can fight a little better through these. I could even add one to the hospital. That's a little bit of danger. Maybe add one here. Like There's not really any harm in having extra doors. Uh, so I could do that, which would definitely give me the ability to pop out and fight better. Uh, I guess the only harm is the steel that it would use, and that's not too bad. So since I'm not having any turrets, which would be eating up my steel, I may as well do uh, some more doors scattered around, um, which will uh, definitely would have helped in, uh, like in the previous raid. Uh, and I'm also going to set up some little defensive uh, defensive areas. Um, maybe not quite as uh, extensive as I would uh, and have in the past, like in Fallville. Um, but these are little areas that they can run to. They're near the doors. And uh, they'll definitely help us out in upcoming raids. You know, they might be somewhat inefficient. Uh, as far as like the use of materials over long term goes, but uh, too bad. Not gonna let that bother me. Um, let's put roofs over those as well because it doesn't hurt and it just might help. I guess I could even put sandbags on those. Again, that's not really necessary, uh, but it's not gonna well, I mean, it'll use steel, so I guess it hurts in that sense. Uh, but it's not going to hurt in the sense that, uh, like, it won't provide any cover for the enemies. And uh, I may as well do what I can to protect my pawns. But let's get the, uh, let's get the, just the posts built first, and then we'll worry about putting sandbags down. And those posts, you know, they're they're only wooden, so they're not really going to... They're not going to hold up all that great. I really got to get the steel. Oh, yeah, that's right. I finished my researching. So I did go stone cutting for the next technology. That's good. So I finished my research in the last episode. And uh, again, thank you to many for pointing out that they tried to steal my AI core down here. So I need to find a much more secure location for that AI core. I think I'm actually going to stick it in the hospital for now. Uh, I can always move it out later, but I may as well put it there. We'll just make this a critical a critical priority. That's why I don't use critical, because on the very rare occasions that I need to, like this one, I can do that. And then I know that it's higher than any other generalized storage zone in the entire colony. Lots of tattered apparel, which I can do about that. I mean, I guess I could make more. That's true. So I guess there is something I could do about that. Where's my crafting? There it is. So let's do uh, make tribal wear. I only 
got four pawns, five tribal wear ought to be enough. Do I have anybody set to tailoring? Don't. Oh. Gosh, that must have been Minoka. Hmm. Uh, and nobody even has any aptitude or anything. Jeez. It's too bad. Well, I guess you're going to have to live with your tattered apparel there. <laughs> Jen, what are you so upset about aside from the tattered apparel? Wow, minus five for tattered apparel. Not even minus three. And you're greedy, so of course. So maybe I'll have to... Oh, good, I recruited... Looks like I recruited the good one, Riesling. Riesling is the one who's missing... Nope, not missing an arm. Riesling is still pretty good, though. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong pawn, that's why. Riesling. Riesling is still not missing an arm. And has plenty of skills. So Termite must be the one who's missing an arm and has really... has a bunch of passions. Okay. So Riesling. Riesling is a high crafter. Fantastic. So that will help me out in the area I was just complaining about. Reasonable researcher and a good grower. So Riesling. I guess you are a high priority farmer. So you're not you're not gonna be a warden. Don't really have any aptitude for construction. You love growing. That's all good. And we're gonna set you as a two for tailoring so we can get those uh get those uh clothes built up and get rid of everybody's nasty uh negative mood lets. There we go, great. Hopefully that'll help. So it's hard to believe I don't have non-tattered apparel. You'd think that there would be some available, but I guess not. Everything's at 50%. I wonder what the penalty is for being naked. Now, I guess your mood was already, must have been down to 40%. Does, do any of my normal pawns, they're all 35% for the minor break threshold. I think I'm going to drop the... Uh... Now, who's the one that is... Uh, who's the one that's edgy and gets upset easily? Breaks at 42%. That is Leopard. 47%. And Termite is escaping. How is Termite es Huh? Oh. Well. Um. Uh, that's a surprise. <laughs> Can I just arrest Termite? Huh, whoops. There you go, now let's try to arrest her mind. Ah, good. Well, that was a kind of a dumb mistake there. And you can go back to being a normal person. Uh, yeah, so... Um, no, it wasn't hamster. It wasn't green. It was... Leopard. Leopard is the one who has mood problems. So, Leopard... Uh, we are that's not going to worry about your anything, but we're going to do... A new drug policy for you. We're going to call this one uh, edgy. And we're going to uncheck all of those things. And we're just going to do a joint. And we're going to do every other day. And we're going to put your mood at 
40% because it seems to be working okay for you. All right. And that's for Leopard. Um, over here, Leopard, there we go. And then we're gonna edit social drugs down to, I think we can manage with 30%. That should be good. So that'll help us manage our moods without running into the uh, slowdowns that you get from uh, from uh, the smoke leaf uh, use, and then also we'll be able to sell more joints over time, build up uh, build up a better back stock of that. So get more efficient use of our uh, materials. Turn that speed up. Bulk goods trader. All right. Well, I think that means we'll be able to sell some of these equipment racks which will be helpful. Who is our good trader? Do we have a good trader? Not really. Green's at level seven, so I guess that's it's not bad. I think you only get a half of a percent per point. So, you know, yes, it's nice to get the better prices, but it's not really that big a deal. Cargo pod. Way far away for just a bunch of stupid uranium. Not even a bunch, just for a little bit of stupid uranium. <laughs> so I'm not really going to go to the trouble of claiming that. Let's see what uh, this bulk goods trader has to has to offer. Come on, Kyra. Let's hear your trade offer. Well, I'm not interested. Oh, wait, I own that boom rat. Hmm. And that tortoise. You know what I am interested in? Selling the boom rat and the tortoise. I think I'll hold on to my megatherium. Don't really want to have cows running around. I mean, uh, pigs running around. Although, if, if I just leave them on their own, they'll definitely multiply. And I could hunt them pretty easily. I don't really have the money to be buying pigs right now. What I could really use is a couple of prosthetic arms, uh, which I also don't have the money for. But look at that, I have plenty of food, so that's good. I'm not going to sell any of it, but it's good to know that I have plenty of it. Although uh, plenty of food is a subjective term. It's not going to last that long. Um, I should buy that Neutromine, I'm definitely going to buy those components, and that's almost all my money. Do I need the Neutromine yet? I really don't. Don't need to exchange any cloth. It's good, though. I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of those kind of furs and whatnot. Going to go ahead and sell that go juice. You know what? I think I'm going to hold on to it, because I think I'm going to try to build a royal bed for one of my uh, upset for that greedy pawn. Although, what am I going to build it with? The wood? I don't think that'll go very well. I don't have enough plasteel to build it. I uh, think I will. Oh, you know what? I'm going to hold it and I'm going to forbid it. Hopefully that'll keep anybody from uh, destroying it. Get rid of all these old clothes. Obviously, they're in bad shape, or else somebody would be wearing them. And it's not like I need to worry about winter clothes in this game. And I could probably sell all of these. Those racks did not bring in the kind of cash I was expecting. <laughs> but, you know, I trained up my constructor anyways. Uh, they brought in a little bit of cash, considering they only used 30 wood. So I got $14. And even if I were to buy the wood directly, it would have cost me $30. But if I were to sell it, I would have gotten $9. So I get a better price for selling the wood when, even when it's in a, I guess when it's a poor, even when it's poor, I still get a better price. And as long as it's normal or better, I get a much better price. So, all right. Still not much of a, uh, it's not really like a profit industry doing that. Uh, but I've got money coming in instead of going out, so I can't complain about that, that's for sure. Should I buy up 
the wood that he's selling. You know, I don't really need to. What I should do is plant a tree farm uh, so I don't really have to worry about buying wood or selling wood or any of that. Or maybe I can worry about selling it, but you know what I'm saying. All right, let's accept that deal. And uh, there's a cargo pod with all sorts of goodies. Oh, I spoke too soon. I guess I could gather all this wart and then maybe... I uh, wonder if I could sell it already. I don't think it counts as being uh, part of my inventory while just sitting on the ground, but let's go find out. I should uh, unforbid that. Um, that uranium, maybe I can sell that too. <laughs> I really doubt it's going to let me try to sell that uranium. But we're going to trade with Kyra and find out. Will you buy my wart? Will you buy my uranium? Is it even considered mine? Doesn't look like it. It's not showing up. I would expect it to show up up here. And there's where the uranium would be if it were in my possession. Nope. And it's not down here in the we aren't going to buy these things area. So that's too bad. Does this stuff deteriorate? Spoils in four days. All right. Let's go ahead and forbid it then. And we're going to knock those buttons out. And we're going to speed up the game to speed three. And uh, those flowers all died off. Getting our little defensive stuff set up. Those new doors. Definitely will help in upcoming fights. The uh, traders don't know where to go. If I don't have uh, don't have a kill zone for him to hang out in. Usually they just stand next to the biggest turret they can find. Well, construction must be done if he's building building the roof. What does Leopard do for his uh, second job? Mining, and then hauling and cleaning. Well, not a whole lot of mining to do here, that's for sure. I Probably too much cleaning, so let's clear up some of that. Cargo pod. Do I need to clean all this area? Hmm. Hard to see what's going on down here. I, I bet you there's more stuff planted than is actually showing up. That may be planted area as well. Do I have it? I'm, I wonder if I have it turned off, maybe? I'll leave some of that home zone just so I can keep those, uh, keep those posts maintained properly and everything. They're going to get beat up when uh, when they get involved in firefights, that's for sure. Well, I guess now that I've got the posts built and the roofs built, I can uh, make those sandbags. And I guess once I make those sandbags, it's going to add more stupid home area. How about if I turn off the auto home area thing? <sighs> that's a dangerous game. A fire will remind me later on that I've d done that. Probably should put some wood floors down here too so I can get rid of those trees. Not very useful when they're right where my ponds need to be standing. Can't really do anything there. Uh, floors, wood floors, just along those little strips. Doesn't have to be every square. I guess it's basically every square considering the uh, sandbags are in this other relevant squares. And I didn't get them down here. Or over here for some reason. Security sandbags. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, that's going to make for a nice, nice secure base. 
next time I have to defend it. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe it's not going to give me time to defend against it. So, a siege. Pretty modest looking siege. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. That is eight, eight pawns. So, we have Molotovs. We have a pistol. There's a shotgun. There's one sniper rifle. Ricky's got a sniper rifle. And, oh good, just the one sniper rifle. So Ricky has got a sniper rifle. They're all gonna, gonna be up here, which is frustrating. You're already up here, Jen. Why don't you just go hide in that corner? And surely somebody has a sniper rifle. You do, how are your needs? Could use some rest, that's for sure. Uh, why don't you go ahead and come up here, though? And uh, Jen's probably getting tired as well. But that's the uh, that's the nature of this game. So it's Ricky that has the uh, uh, Ricky's going to be too far out of range. Trade caravan is leaving. These guys are going the other direction. slow the game down a little bit. Green, that should come up here. Don't know where the... Uh, still can't shoot Ricky. No, I can. Don't know where the are going to set up camp. But maybe I can take Ricky out. Well, at least I can hit him. Don't really need to take cover, I guess, because nobody can fire at you. And uh, can you fire at Ricky too, please? And are you still firing at Ricky? Thank you. I like how these these dummies are just uh, letting me shoot at them all all the live long day. Oh no! Now somebody's shooting back. So Jen, you better take cover down here. Oh oh, they're attacking. Uh, what, a, a monkey or something? Oh, that's my monkey. No, that's not my monkey. They have their own monkey? Oh, my, no, that's not my boom rat either. Oh, they're attacking the uh, traitors. I love it. All right, why don't you two go rest? Let these guys fight it out. Because this will take care of that siege. I don't think there's going to be too much left after this. Oh, and the traitors are trying... I oh, know. I thought they were trying to run away, but I guess not. They're fighting in a very weird manner. But yeah, you guys go ahead and assault the colony all, all you want. <laughs> oh, the pirates are fleeing. I love it. Unfortunately, the... Um, these fires are probably going to uh, destroy all of the uh, bounty, potential bounty of, of this uh, battle. Um, but what an exciting, uh, what an exciting conclusion! I was pretty sure this was going to have to be another to be continued uh, fighting episode, but that is not the case. Um, there is what I was trying to do. So, what is going to happen with all these goodies? Well, I'm pretty sure those weapons are going to be destroyed. But are we going to be able to manage to salvage some of the stuff from around here? Could we potentially rescue Fira? That would... Oh, no, you know what? No thanks. I don't think I want to. You know what? You're going to have to tune in next time to find out, though. What's Jen doing? Jen is hauling... <laughs> I, okay. I mean, if you're gonna come up here, grab. Yeah, that one's normal. Boy, all the rest of them are like shotguns and stupid things like that. Let's take another look at Fira here. Incapable of dumb labor and incapable of violence, but really strong and a, pro a, a prostophobe. That's good. Heat tolerant is fine. Really strong on social and on research, which I could use. It's interesting that you're ugly and you have a strong social skill. 
I think I'm going to leave you alone. You'd probably be really hard to recruit anyways. Um, but I can rescue you and uh, uh, then just set you free and get a boost to the town, uh, which will help once I get a trade caravan thing going. Although that does take electricity. It's going to be quite a while before I get to that point. But it doesn't matter. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode as much as I've enjoyed playing it because it was pretty fun. Uh, click the like button down below. That's a good way to tell me how much you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel. Even better way of telling me. But I bet if you're listening to this, you're probably already subscribed. Um, uh, leave some comments down in the comment area. We can talk about things. It's fun. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.